The Army National Guard Warrior Training Team out of Fort Benning, Georgia, recently conducted Air Assault School at Camp Atterbury Joint Maneuver Training Center in Edinburgh, Indiana, where 137 soldiers and airmen from around the nation came to see if they have what it takes to wear the Air Assault badge. Air Assault uh, is having sling load operations mixed with uh, combat assault. Um, it's quick, it's fast, it's uh, attention to detail, it's, it's, you're not taking your time on it. Um, the, the reason for air assault is to get in get out as quick as possible. Also for sling load operations, to get the equipment in into a combat zone and where it needs to go as quickly and smoothly as possible, get out of the area. Um, you don't want to waste your time doing it. Students of the Air Assault School are trained on the missions performed by Rotary Wing Aircraft, Aircraft Safety, Aerial Medical Evacuation Procedures, Pathfinder Operations, Principles and Techniques of Combat Assaults, Repelling Techniques, and Sling Load Operations. Uh, I like the interactions with the students, uh, the gratification that you actually get from being able to teach a student and see that aha moment where it actually clicks and they understand the material. I mean, that's pretty awesome for an instructor to see that. It's really about being ment mentally tough and physically prepared. Uh, anyone can do it. If I can do it, to anyone out there, they can do it. No matter their size, shape, color, gender, anyone can do it. Just put your best foot forward and um, give it all you got. On graduation day of the Air Assault School at Camp Atterbury, only 109 of the 137 soldiers and airmen who started the course earned the privilege of wearing the Air Assault badge. Reporting from Camp Atterbury Joint Maneuver Training Center, I'm Tim Sproles.